Welcome to this quick tutorial about bypasses on a single track of rail in transport fever. Let's get started. Over here we have a train going back and forth from station 1 to station B. As you can see it's a single track of rail. Now imagine that we want to have a second train run on the same line. Here in the depot I have train 2 which I will assign to the same line. However, because of the single track uh, I can't let them run simultaneously. As you will see now, both trains will wait at the end of their station until the track is clear. Obviously, the track will never be clear since they are both waiting for the same track to go to the opposite stations with your boat keeping occupied. To solve this, we could just add an extra track of wheel. However, uh, Especially early in the game, this might be very expensive and unnecessary because you may have only a few trains running on a long track. So we want a way to solve this problem without spending a lot of money. The most easy solution is creating a bypass. A bypass is just a piece of double rail where trains can pass each other. When building a bypass, it's important to keep an eye on the speed signs they space on the switch. Especially later in the game, it's important that you can keep your trains running at maximum speed. You have to keep in mind that trains in a certain direction will always use the bypass. And not only when a train in the other direction is coming their way. Also make sure that the bypass is long enough so that trains with a lot of cars can uh, still use this bypass. After building this bypass you will notice that the trains are still waiting for a free path. This is because the trains are kind of dumb. You have to guide them through the bypass to make it work. As you can see, the line will guide the trains in both directions to the fastest route and not using the bypass. We can solve this by using signs. Signs are located in the wheel tab. By placing signs at opposite direction at the ends of the bypass, we will uh, tell the trains that they have to use a certain direction of the bypass. Now we see that the right-bound trains will use the bypass and the left-bound trains will still use the main track. If we unpass the game, we will now see that the trains will bypass each other nicely at the bypass. Of course, this requires the trains to be in exact sync. If the trains don't enter the bypass at the same time, one train will have to wait for the other in order to pass it. If you have a very long track, you might want to add multiple bypasses so the waiting time for the trains is minimal. Hopefully, this quick tutorial about bypasses on a single track of railing in Transport Fever was useful to you. If it was, please give thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.